This morning when I was feeding the cows, I went into the barley pit and I was scooping literally the last scoop of silage for the entire morning. Probably scooped like 20 buckets or something. And uh, as soon as I went in, squeezed the grapple of the loader, a hydraulic hose blew up, broke right there, and it sprayed everything straight up. And it covered this entire loader completely in oil. Um, you can see everything's pretty shiny. Even the bucket here is super shiny, everything even in the front. Dima just cleaned this loader off two days ago, so I'm gonna have to re-pressure wash the entire thing. So we're gonna have to replace this hose here. We have a spare, luckily, and uh, get it swapped out. We just keep a ton of spare parts, filters, belts, all different kinds of parts up here. And I believe it's this hose, so we'll go take the broken one off and see if this one fits in there. These are the two connections where all the hydraulic hoses on the bucket connect to the loader. So I'm just going to detach these just in case it starts flowing a bunch of oil as soon as I take that hose off. Now we have the hose off here. It's got this little coil of protective plastic on there. It's literally just a strip of plastic coiled up that's wrapped around this hose here. Just as a little bit of extra protection. So we're just gonna take it off here. Right there is where I busted. There's metal wires poking out, just tore right open. Put the protective stuff back on the new one. There we go. Got the thread started. Got that side in there, threaded it through these braces here. Now we're just gonna get this end hooked up. And we'll be good to go. We're also gonna sprinkle some of this stuff on the ground where that oil spilt. It's kind of like a cat litter and basically what it's gonna do, is it's gonna suck all of the oil up off this concrete and it'll keep it nice and clean. You can see we got some right there already from a different job. And we just leave it there for a couple days and then come back and it'll all be sucked up. Let's go wash this thing.
This morning I cleaned out these straw packs on both of our straw packs in the pack barn here. And I also scraped these alleys, the manure out of there. And I started filming it all. And as I was filming it, I started to run low on room on the camera to record. So I went in and deleted a bunch of clips. And unfortunately, I wasn't really looking that good, I guess, and deleted the whole beginning of that job. So I luckily didn't delete everything. And I think what I had left was starting just at taking the pack out. So didn't delete too much, but the only thing you guys missed was me chasing the cows off of the pack onto this alley and locking them here so that they weren't on the pack anymore so that I could go and scoop it out. And um, we'll start off from there, I guess. We clean the pack out probably once every two months or so and once a week for the alleys. did this job was why don't you put it in a dump wagon right behind the barn or put it in the manure wagon and not make it so many long trips driving all the manure all the way to the back of the farm that's a good question but realistically I think about 10 buckets per straw pack so maybe 20 back and forth trips for both sides uh, it doesn't add too much time maybe half an hour and getting all that stuff hooked up would take a long time on top of that we don't even have the proper dump wagon to do that and if I were to load it in the manure spreader, all the fields are seeded right now and we can't spread manure on seeded fields. Uh, all the fields that are close to the farm anyway. There are a couple fields that need to be seeded that are super far, but that would take a super long time driving all the way out there. And there's no point in really doing that either. It's just gonna add time. So this is really the most efficient way of doing it. We do have a little pile of stuff here, but that's just for the alleys. And I think the calf burn a little bit of the manure ends up on this pile as well. And it's just because it's super close when you're hauling stuff with the skid steer. You don't want to drive all the way back there. But what we're doing with the loader, it doesn't add that much time driving all the way back there. So we got both straw packs cleaned up pretty good here with the loader. Now I'm going to grab the skid steer with a big bucket on there. And we're going to get all the corners out behind these water bowls here. The skid steer is a lot smaller and it's going to be a lot harder to break something really bad with that skid steer and that's why I'm going to use it to get all these hard to get corners. Got them all cleaned up. Grab this thing, hopefully only two more scoops and then we can grab some fresh bales and start bedding them back up.
All of the ladies on this side are already nice and cozy in their bedding. cleaned out now too. We're just gonna go ahead and close the doors, open all the gates up so the cows can get back on the feed alley there. And uh, that should be about it. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram at SaskDutchKid and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.